Sambo, Alafia. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Oh, I'm sorry. General Jean-Jacques Dessalines. The man who took the French colony of Saint-Domingue, crushed it, and gave birth to the free, independent empire of Haiti. Haiti, empire of freedom. That's the way he, the name of the country is established on his letterhead. Haiti, empire of freedom. So, who is Dessaline? Dessaline is this fabulous person born of an African woman kidnapped in Africa while pregnant and his mama not wanting him to be born in the claws of slavery right on the plantation ran away while only a few weeks away from giving birth. She managed to reach some mountaintop and there in the wilds, in communion with nature, gave birth to a son with the help of Agbaraya Toya from Daomi, military woman who help in the process. And as the mother felt death coming to her, she hands the child over to the military woman and asks her to raise the child and make sure he knows freedom. This is the beginning of this child who's going to be trained by Agbaraya Toya. Trained educationally, spiritually, militarily, socially, but most of all, continually remind this child, your mother went through everything to give birth to you in a forest so you would know freedom. So you are duty bound to bring freedom to this land. And sure enough, child grew up, properly raised by Agbaraya Toya, having a great communication with nature. He loves animals. He talks to his horses. He talks to birds. He climbs up top, top trees. But most of all, the young man loves to dance, loves to dance. And even as he joined the army, as he becomes a lieutenant, captain, a colonel, general, very few people mentions, mention him without mentioning his love for dancing. So it brought me to question myself. What is the relationship? With, between the warrior that he is and the dancer that he adores being. Every dance that is in fashion, he usually tried to do to be the best at it. Wherever the dance happened, in the yard, in the plantation, on slave quarters, in colonist living rooms, gasoline is the best dancer. So what's the relationship? As I try to define for myself, what is a dancer? A dancer is one who masters its movement, has very good self-control of the movement, the minute details of its movement on space. So, what is a warrior? Hey, warrior is one who has lots of self-control on every movement that he does 
on space. But then a general is a warrior that has to establish, control, direct movement of many on a particular space. So then the dancer, the warrior, they seem so similar. The more you think about it, the more you go into the essence of each, the more difficult it is to separate them, to disassociate them. So then it become obvious to me that any great warrior would have to be a great dancer. And then I look at some martial arts films and I look at the steps of the martial art person. Yeah, he's supposed to be a warrior, but uh, this is a warrior that is constantly dancing. I look at the steps of uh, the one who uses the sword. Again, I find him someone who is dancing, creating movements on space, well controlled. Then I ask myself, what is the purpose? Why does a dancer dance? The dancer dances, so as he exercises that, that self-control, that mastery of actions on space, it is capturing the audience's attention. It is capturing the audience's emotions. It is conducting the audience's feeling. So, as the dancer dances, the dancer takes control of the audience and takes the audience from one area of feelings and sentiments to another. And then I jump back to the battlefield and I look at the dancers on the battlefield, whether on horseback, whether on foot, whether with a sword, or with a gun, the warrior has control of actions over space. And then I think of November 18, 1804, 1803. November 18, 1803, the final battle after Dessaline has whipped the Spanish army, whooped the British army. Now this is the last battle to finish crushing the French army. And what do I see? Arstree tells us he sits on a stone playing with his tobacco box and controlling everything, sending in this general to do this, that general to keep the river, that general on the bridge, this general on the mountain top, the other one. And so he is controlling all 40,000 men, de determining the space, the, the, the action, the spot of each action. But he himself is not participating in the dance on November 18, 1803. So on that day, Dessaline is no longer a dancer. On that day, November 18, 1803, Gasoline is a choreographer. He is determining how the dance should be. And he is in control of every area involved in all the people and their actions. And sure enough, that's the day. The final battle is won. The French army is crushed. They find no alternatives and therefore must come and sign in front of that great dancer, fabulous warrior, extremely powerful strategist, keen tactician, Jean-Jacques Dessaline. Oh yes. So Dessaline, with dignity, he did not.
not do what the French said they would do to him if they won the war. No, 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 no. He received Rochambeau with honor and dignity. He even refused to accept Rochambeau's sword when Rochambeau handed it to him, which is the way generals are supposed to behave when they've lost. Dessalines refused. He said, you've been a good soldier. You have lost, but you've been good. So hold on to your weapon. I will give you the boats, the ammunition, the weapons, and the provisions that you need for the three months trip to go back to France. But you tell your government, don't ever set foot here again. And that is the way, the last dance that Dessalines the last military dance that he organized and the victory for all black people across the world and which enabled us on January 1st, 1804 to make the universal declaration of independence. And on that day, Dressed in red and gold, General Jean-Jacques Dessalines declared, we take the universe as our witness, as we declare this land, a land of freedom for all people, all black people across the world. Any black person setting foot on that land, running away from slavery, steps foot on this land, becomes free and a citizen. Any other person running away from slavery, step foot on this land, becomes free. That's a major declaration from a fabulous dancer, from a regular choreographer who loves to dance, Jean-Jacques Dessalines founder, liberator, and first emperor of Haiti. Thank you.